Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing another tiny home build. I started this new series on my channel where we recreate houses from this YouTube channel called Never Too Small. They are a channel that the way that they describe it is through smart design and creative use of space we can transform the way we live and interact with our growing cities tackling urban overcrowding issues globally whilst improving the quality of life so basically they tour small homes and apartments and there's like a lot of unique ways for like storage and um, multi-use objects and things like that and a lot of the builds are very clever in the way that they're built. I watch this channel all the time and it just inspires me to build. So I was like, why not make a series where we just recreate the homes from this channel in The Sims? <laughs> so this is going to be video number two. I do have another one on my channel if you are interested. I think I'm going to be doing one of these a week. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this next one. If you are new here, hello, my name is Savannah. I have tons of Sims content on my channel from Let's Plays, to builds, to cast videos. So if that is something that interests you, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. Come join the family. It would make me very happy. <laughs> the beverage of the day is iced coffee the size of my head. That is all. Let's get into it, shall we? Cheers. <laughs> all right, guys, here is the floor plan of the house we're going to be doing today. So this is technically an apartment, so I'm going to have to wing the exterior and just kind of get creative with it. But this is the overall floor plan. It's like a very open floor plan, but it's um, a couple of the rooms are separated by this large storage pod, which looks really cool. So this is the inside. How cool is that? The storage pod is mirrored. So we're definitely gonna do that. And then this whole bookcase and TV installation is really awesome as well there's plants everywhere bright colors it just looks so much fun to build i'm very excited for this so the bedroom's on the left and there's just like art studio on the right and a seating area a little bathroom and i noticed that this bathroom has a planter in the shower which i thought was really cool so i'm going to try and recreate that as well here is the seating area like the dining area this is the kitchen as well the countertop or the counters are mirrored i don't think we're going to be able to do that but i do like the overall layout of the kitchen it's kind of just like one little strip there all the appliances are hidden in the cabinets <laughs> and again with the mini fridge that's something that I notice a lot in these videos is that pretty much every house has a mini fridge but like I said in the pa the last video um, I just kind of like try to recreate it as close as possible but we do have to obviously change some things because not everything is in the sims but I think most of this stuff we can do. So here we are in Strangerville. This is one of my favorite lots to build on. I just think it's so pretty. I love this little like outside front porch area and just like this view is just breathtaking. Strangerville, it's definitely one of my favorite worlds, um, especially for like outdoor restaurants up here. It's just really, really pretty. And one of you guys on my last video kindly asked me to um, include building the floor plan, which I can definitely do. I didn't do it last time because I knew the floor plan was going to take me forever because it was a little bit complicated. But with this one, it's kind of just like a square. So I think that we can just... <laughs> We can just, um, you know, do it on camera this time. Also, I do like to make the homes like uh, tiny homes in The Sims, um, just so you guys can get that skill building boost if you would like. So we have 72 out of 100 tiles. There is a balcony right here in the front. Boop. And the front door Actually, the balcony is on the side of the house. Okay, do it's right here. Then the front door, yes, the front door is right here. I'm just gonna put a random door. Um, I also try to do these builds without CC, just so that everyone can use it if they would like. The storage pod little thingy, it separates the bathroom and the bedroom. It's kind of like... It's kind of like that. The little art studio is on this side. The bedroom and the bathroom is on this side. The bathroom, let me, bathroom is there. And I think we might have to move the whole house out. 
Oh, perfect. 100 out of 100 tiles. That is it's still a tiny home, so it works. So we've got kitchen, living room, um, random art studio, multi-purpose room, uh, bedroom and bathroom. <laughs> I actually think that we should extend this out one. Boop. Yes. So this is going to be like that big mirrored structure. Oh, that hallway is a little small, isn't it? Maybe we need to bring this bathroom in one tile. That's the really, really small bathroom, actually. Maybe not. Maybe we should move this out and then... Dang, now we're at too many tiles. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Should we make the storage pod one tile thinner? Well, shoot, cause no, the TV needs to go on here. So maybe this way and then this can... Hmm, what do we do, 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 what do we do? I think that we're gonna have to get rid of this balcony and because I don't know why that counts as tiles. We can just like make a fake balcony, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't have to officially be tiles. And I think we can probably bump this out one more. Yeah, we can. Okay, I think, I think we have our shell. Uh, I do realize that it's like a giant box right now, but I think that we can make it look, we can make it look good. It's the tallest wall height as well, so let's just bring that down. Let's do the middle one, maybe? Yeah, just like higher ceilings, make it just, make it feel more roomy. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is mirror up this center pod thingy. I'm gonna have to alt place them though, so that they uh, take up the entire wall without any gaps, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna have to <laughs> do this as well, just so they go all the way up. Yeah, how much is this house worth already? See, $17,000. It's only because I have to place so many of these mirrors. <laughs> That's so crazy. So if you are on a tight budget for your sim, this might not be the tiny home for them. <laughs> Here's our lovely mirrored up divider of the house. It's looking pretty cool actually. I'm liking this so far. So the wallpaper in the house is just a very plain, a very plain white color, nothing too special. And then the floor is just like this white looking concrete. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some of you guys are gonna hate, hate, hate the simplicity of this house and some of you guys are gonna absolutely love it. But I think starting with like a blank canvas like this, um, it's pretty cool for when you have a lot of colorful decorations and things like that. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it looks. If it's too plain, I might, I might change it later, we'll see. The door to the bathroom is really cool. It's bright blue and it's a sliding door. I don't think that we're gonna be able to do that here though because i think that the sliding doors in this game are all kind of large yeah like and they all have glass <laughs> i'll probably just use this plain wooden door from base game put that there and i think that is the only door in the house the the separation from the living room and the art studio is a curtain and there's no door in the bedroom that I'm seeing. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do this like living room area with the TV and the bookshelves on this. Oh, I just realized I didn't need to put mirrors on this wall. I guess we can leave them there. If we need to delete them later, we can. I, I tried every single bookshelf and it does this really annoying thing where if you, watch, I'll show you. So I wanted to use, cha, 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 where'd you go? Where did you go? This one? No, this one. And I wanted to kind of put it in the wall, like about there. And I place it and it gets super dark. And like no amount of lighting fixes it. So, and I have to kind of, embed it in the wall a little bit otherwise the tv will be you know like it's like not flush with the tv and that's kind of how it is in the apartment so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this tv from get famous or city living i mean i'm gonna size it down one because it fits on this wall perfectly <laughs> uh, i think we're gonna have to come back to it i just wasted so much time so much time it's okay 
So I'm gonna put the TV there. It's looking pretty cool. All right, so what's also really cool is the bedroom is on a bit of a platform. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this little like hazard tape. I'm gonna section that off and I'm going to raise it up a little bit, boom. Oh, that looks cute. It looks like stairs. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I'm actually going to raise it up twice so that we can have two little steps there. And then I'm going to move the door. I'm going to move the door over one. And then I'm going to grab that, section that, open or bring that up. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and then let's get some kitchen counters going as well. The counters in the video are mirrored, and I don't think I have any mirrored counters, but that sounds really cool. <laughs> I should look for some, download some for CC. I normally build with CC if you're new here, um, so building without CC is so weird to me, but I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to familiarize myself with the items in the game because I'm normally, like I said, I'm just building with CC most of the time. So I never use the items in the game, which is bad, but it's true. <laughs> I feel like I should probably find counters that match the aesthetic of the rest of the house though. Like bright colors, funky, a lot of plants. I'm leaning towards these because I never use them. <laughs> I think the green would probably look better with, with the amount of plants we're gonna have. So let's try it out. If we don't like it, then we can always change it later. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone here, you know? So I'm gonna delete this one and I'm going to put the cottage living fridge, I think. Oh my gosh, should we do the pink one? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's just see how it looks later on. <laughs> Looks like there's a nice big window right here on the wall as well. That's good, so we don't have to worry about a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of empty wall space. I hate that. I'm gonna put a couple of these snowy escape windows. I'm just gonna place them side by side. Oh man, the mosquito window is really cute actually. Maybe I'll do the mosquito window. All right, moving right along, we have a little brown four person rectangular dining table. The chairs are, oh my god, they're like a brownish mustard, like Dijon mustard leather. Definitely don't have anything like that in my game, but I will find something that looks good. Honestly, they kind of look like this. <laughs> These chairs from the Star Wars pack. I, I feel like that is like way too funky, even for me. I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to decor, but uh, that w I think that was a little too much. All right, guys, so I've been messing around a little bit with everything, and I think what I'm gonna do is use these chairs from the new pack. I'm gonna delete this table because it's a little bit too long for what I want, and I'm gonna use two of these uh, smaller square tables, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna squeeze them together just so the table is a little bit smaller. That looks a little bit better, but it's very different from, from what I'm looking at over here. <laughs> kind of digging it though. I think it's really, really cute. And then they have a orange, a bowl of oranges in the center of the table. Okay, that looks really cute so far. <laughs> I love all the colors. All right, and then over here, it looks like they have the trash can and a plant. I could have sworn, I could have sworn they came out with a Monstera plant. That's wild, guys, that's so crazy. See, they're all CC, what a bummer. I think I like this one the best. I think it looks quite nice in here. The colors, actually, shoot, the pot doesn't match the aesthetic, oh my god. I'm so picky. <laughs> All right, cottage living plant, you win. You win, you win, you win. All right, and then on this wall, hmm, it looks like they have some built-in shelves and a picture. I can't do a built-in shelf, but we can definitely do the picture. <laughs> uh, actually, we could, we could just like hang a shelf right here. I guess it doesn't have to be like built-in. I just really love the pictures from the fitness pack. That's one of my favorite items. These tiny living pictures are also really cute. I use those a lot. Oh, look at this one from City Living. I'm a fan of that. It looks really cute in here too. Like the colors, they go really well. 
I decided to switch out the windows to these ones from, where are these from? Snow Escape. <laughs> Those were the first ones that I chose, oh my God. And I added little, uh, little um, window sills so that we could have some clutter area above the counters. I did a pink oven and a pink stove top. I think this is the most color I've ever used in a kitchen in my life, but um, I'm kind of liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But I do feel like this wall is too blank and I really, I really want to have an accent wall. Um, more pink. That looks pretty cute actually, but I'll refrain. Aw, this brick from Cottage Living is so adorable. All right, I think we're done. Not 100% done, but I think that we can move on to a different area of the house now. Um, I will definitely come back to the kitchen though. My building style is very like start one place, do a little bit, go another place, do some more. So on this wall, they have a um, just like a little accent table. The one that they have is just like floor it goes all the way down to the floor has no legs and it's got a bunch of storage in it and i'm not really seeing anything in the game that's like that so what i'm going to do is we can either put more counters or we can we can take this one from eco and turn it around so that it's just kind of plain I'm gonna place two of them side by side just to make it like the size that I want. Yeah, and they have like a bunch of decorations on top of it and like some more photos and a nice light right here. This one from uh, Dream Home Decorator goes really well in here. So you're gonna put that there. Oh my gosh, there's a hanging plant in the corner as well. <gasps> Oh my god, there's a lot of plants in this house, guys. Okie dokie, let's move on to the living room. Ah, the thought of the bookshelves and the TV is just making me mad. Next to the in entertainment center, there's a nice comfy chair with a funky pattern, a basket, and another plant. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna go for this cute little one from Island Living. Uh, they just kind of have the chair right here, and then they have a little plant next to the chair. It's quite cute. I don't really um, like all of the clutter, but <laughs> that's just me. I, know I mentioned this in my last video, how much I don't like cluttering. And there are a couple people who commented that they don't like cluttering either. So I don't feel as alone. So thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that plant. That plant looks so cute right there. <laughs> I love it. Not really sure if it matches though with the rest of the kitchen. Aw, that's cute too. I think I like that. I think I like that. The pot is so cute. So there is another big window over here. And then there's a door out to wherever like that's where the balcony was supposed to be but we're not going to do a balcony anymore because it takes up tiles i think i'm going to do this one from get famous actually that's really adorable and then maybe get rid of one window the couch is yellow in this build <laughs> how fun oh this is looking real cute i like it a lot real cute and real funky they have a yellow couch and blue and light pink pillows that is really strange <laughs> God, yeah, that looks terrible. That doesn't look good at all. Oh, those pillows don't look half bad. The coffee table is a little hard to see in this video, uh, but it looks like it has brown legs and a white tarp. It's kind of squarish. Hey, that looks kind of cool. What do we think about that? Not me just completely ignoring how the build actually is. <laughs> Oh, that looks cool with like one clear glass and one pink glass. That's kind of vibey, guys. I like that a lot. Let's find a rug. I like this. <laughs> it's looking a little watermelony. If you threw in some egg, you know. What did I what did I even just say? Oh my god, don't ask me because I don't know. Wait, these aren't CC, are there? Are they? No, 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 they're city living. Okay, we good, we good. Too cute, guys. Too freaking cute. Now, there is a photo right here on this wall. I'm running out of photos, guys. I'm running out of pictures from the packs. 
If you can recommend some good, ooh, this is kind of cool. Is this base game? It does not match the house at all, but that's pretty sick for base game. If you uh, drop your favorite pictures from any of the packs in the comments, like what what do you guys use the most? I'm in need of some good ones. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, the matcha picture from Snowy Escape to the rescue. That looks kind of cool. Cute little gallery wall. Maybe we can add a wall light if there's one that's like small enough. Oh man, this one from Snowy Escape is so cute. Maybe we should put it by the door. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. So since this is called an art studio, I think that we should use this little corner over here as a exactly what that is, an art studio. So let me get an easel in here. You just put that in the corner there. I'll come back to that area later. Um, so uh, my beds in the game are currently broken, unfortunately my double beds at least. I cannot place a double bed every time I try, it kind of just disappears. So what I'm gonna have to do is place um, two single beds next to each other and kind of just cheat it a little bit. Like give the illusion that it is a double bed. But if you guys wanna place this in your game, you can always just delete my beds and put in your your own double bed see so watch let me show you exactly what happens it's not even like a, a cc bed either like if i tried with this one from city living i place it and it just disappears i'm not really sure why i need to google a fix i probably should have done that before i started filming this video but <laughs> it's all good we're fine the bed in the video is just, it just has like a white duvet cover with, um, with blue pillows. I just thought of something. You know how sometimes your sim refuses to get in a bed with someone else because they don't know them that well? You can always do this like double twin bed trick where you like squeeze two twin beds together and make it look like a double bed but the Sims won't know that, so they'll like sleep together without realizing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little funny, but it's just what I gotta do for now. Oh, it actually looks much better with these. I'm gonna do this window instead. They have uh, this cute little windowsill with those, some things above the bed. There is a table with a sculpture and a plant right there. The table is actually really pretty. It's kind of, it's like got a pattern top. I know that there is a table like that in this game. I have a feeling it's a coffee table though, or a dining table, I can't remember. Oh man, that is gonna bug me to no end. <laughs> I kind of like this one. I think this is from the Bloomin' Rooms kit. I like it because it brings some color back into this room. Of course it is very plain at the moment. That's kind of cute. It ties in with the rest of the house. We all know what this Sim's favorite color is. <laughs> oh, you know what else we can put over here is a desk with a computer, because every Sim needs that, you know? This is uh, turning out a lot different than the actual home, but I'm taking major inspiration from it, so I think that's pretty cool. Ooh, I really like how the one end of this desk is flat. So you can put it against the wall and it kind of just looks, it looks okay. Oh my gosh, look at that swatch. That's really cute. That's so, so cute. I'm having a lot of fun with this build because I can use like colors that I don't normally use. I'm gonna use this funky computer from uh, Get to Work. This is kind of cool. I really like the, like the glass that holds the screen. That's fun. I don't think I've ever used that computer before. Oh, this chair from high school years. So cute, so, so, so cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this chair from base game. Uh, it'll be available to more of you guys and I feel like it, it matches the house a little better too. All right, so I feel like this area is screaming for an accent wall. I think it's actually kind of a cool idea because this is the art studio portion. 
of the house, so maybe whatever sim lived lives here painted the wall or something. Ooh, look at that one. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. I like that a lot. Put the easel there. Actually, do we even want to do the blue? <gasps> Shoot, the wood. The wood looks so much better. Okay, wood it is. And then next to it, we need like a little table. This kind of looks like paintbrushes from high school years. So let's do that. You know what would be cute too is if we put like a mirror right here. Like uh, the sim is like doing a self portrait or studying features, like facial features or whatever. Kind of want it to be a fun mirror. Maybe this little flower one. It's so hard to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that's cute, that's cute. Okay, and then in the corner there, I'm gonna put a standing plant and that stack of canvases. Um, I don't remember which pack that's from. Hopefully when I search canvas, it'll pop up. Uh, I found this really cool canvas rack. Unlocked at level five of the painting career? Nah, unlock now. <laughs> I think it'll be cute with some plants on top. Lift them up, position them there, boom. So cute. Oh God, this room. This room is so cute. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but dang, it's adorable. I just realized there's a giant mirror behind, but <laughs> when they're facing the easel, they can, they can look in this mirror. I have the urge to spruce up the bedroom with some carpet. Check this out, guys. When I place this fireplace on this mirrored wall, the back of the fireplace turns mirrored. That looks really cool. I'm a big fan of that. I think I might leave that and ditch the bookcase idea. It doesn't look like any of the other fireplaces do that. I think I'm just gonna put this like beige carpet in here. I'm going to make the platform. Is this it? No, that's not it. Where's the platform styles? Ah, here we go. Maybe we can make the platforms kind of fun. Like, I don't hate that actually. Let's look at these. Ooh, pink. Blue brick, perhaps, or green brick. Ooh, the green brick looks nice. Give me that snowy escape poof, please. Someone please tell me why you can't lower mirrors. Oh my God. Okay, quickly going to do this bathroom. <laughs> oh my God, after 500 years. So I'm going to section this off. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. And then put a wall shower in here. I'm gonna use the one from Snowy Escape. Everything in this bathroom is pretty, uh, pretty basic. Like there's no crazy colors in here for some reason. Oh my God, that actually looks, that actually looks really cute. And then what if we, hmm, maybe change the fence color to something lighter? Ooh. And then we just like add plants in there. That looks pretty cute. I like it. I don't think there's enough room in here for like full blown counters. So I'm just gonna use like a freestanding sink. Wow. I put this hamper right there and it kind of looks like it's supposed to be part of the sink. Like a little drawer or something. That looks kind of cool. Okay, bathroom is finished. Uh, the kitchen needs a sink, I just realized. I just cluttered up these shelves a little bit, and now I'm trying to find some decent blinds for this window. I feel like finding blinds and curtains is always so hard, but that doesn't look bad. It matches the color scheme of the kitchen. Um, and as I was looking, I found those new curtains from, um, from high school years. So let me see how that looks, dividing this um, this little area. I was hoping it was gonna look realistic, but it really doesn't. And if I put a column here, that kind of like defeats the purpose of having like a curtain, although it kind of does divide the space a little bit. Can you alt place columns? You can't. <laughs> you can't alt place columns, but you can alt place the sticks from uh, toddler stuff, I believe. I don't know. I feel like that looks kind of cute. What do you guys think? All right, last but not least, I just need to 
I kind of feel like this floor is way too plain. Like we need some kind of texture going on. I know that in the build, the floors don't have texture, but I just feel like it's needed. You know, I feel like it's needed. So, hmm, maybe eco floors. God, that is so much better. That is so much better. It doesn't feel as cold. I'm just gonna do a lazy girl roof with some half walls. I just realized there's no uh, windows in the front. I think we might have to add some. That looks fine actually, I don't mind it. Alrighty then guys, here we are, the finished house. I just picked one of my random sims to uh, have her use a couple of things in the house. Hopefully she goes inside soon. Let's head in, she's going to the computer most likely. I'm nervous, I always get nervous when we go inside. Okay, so, here we are. Aww. It's pretty cute. This this mirror, um, this mirror like center thing is making it feel really open, which is good. I'm obsessed with this kitchen. Oh my goodness. I think this is I think this is probably the, my favorite kitchen I've ever made. Oh, it's so cute. I hope that you guys like it too. Uh, we have the living room over here. Oh shoot, the, those uh, those windows need blinds. I, this is one of my favorite parts. Love the coffee table, super cute. Over here we have the little uh, art studio area. It feels so big, doesn't it? But it's actually a tiny home, it's so nice. Love this little painting area. Aww, well aren't you just the cutest thing ever in here? I love it. I love it so much. Upstairs is the bedroom over there, and then here is the bathroom. Oh, so cute. It's so plain, but I like it. You guys can spruce it up however, however you like, but I really do like this shower trick. See what I mean about these homes like inspiring and giving you like different ways to, to build in The Sims and to make like unique things? I think I love that so much. Up the stairs we have the bedroom. Small and basic, but uh, yeah, you got you got everything you need. Oh wow, look at it from this view. That looks crazy, but I like it. <laughs> we have a little side door here that leads to the backyard and to the trash cans. I just built her a little pool out here, nothing too crazy. A pool and a grill. I have been filming for so long, it's not even funny. <laughs> I hope you guys like how it turned out though. Uh, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new here, please subscribe. Come join the family. Oh, my back. Also, if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.